It's a rainy Sunday afternoon here in Florida. You know what that makes me feel like doing? Cooking. Not really, but I have to. And I wanted to share one of Will's favorite recipes, GFCF, with you. Especially, I'm hoping that some parents that are considering starting the diet can benefit from this. Um, and if this goes over well, I'll do a few more of his favorites that really work out well and we sneak a whole bunch of vegetables in there. Let me start off by saying I am not claiming to be a professional by no means. I'm still very new to this. I mean, three or four months, maybe, um, you know, total GFCF, but I can share with you what I've learned. I'm going to recommend some books and I'm not going to get into the the biology and everything with you. I can recommend a video for you to watch that's very good. It'll answer any question you have about it. But I'd like to share some recipes with you. And today I'm making chicken nuggets and they really taste a lot like um, McDonald's chicken nuggets with the the uh, breading that I've come up with, my secret recipe that I will share with you. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the diet. Um, if you're starting, I don't know how much research you've done, but they do say that the best way, and of course, like everything else, every child is individual and what works for one may not work for the other, but they recommend removing the casein first. And that's milk products, anything that comes from an udder. Uh, butter, I'm going to show you a great butter. I mean, it tastes just like butter. And what worked for us, because Will was a total milk junkie. Um, so what we did, because he's very, I mean, he, he picks up on stuff. You know, I, I was so pessimistic from the very beginning. I mean, I just knew, you know, he's, he's such a picky eater. He's going to starve, you know, the, the same things that everybody else feels. I was feeling and so I decided and I still go by this rule baby steps because if you if you try to absorb everything at once you just can't you'll go insane so baby steps you know one little thing at a time and that's what we did with the milk I started rice milk at first I was going to do soy but I did some reading that a lot of autistic children have soy intolerance uh, intolerances so I decided to do the rice milk, started on Rice Dream, and then it's got a tiny, tiny bit of gluten in it, and really small writing. We use the West Soy rice milk, and he likes the plain and vanilla, and what we did was um, gradually every night, we would just uh, start adding a little more rice milk to his regular milk, you know, very gradually. And I think over like a two week period, we had him completely on rice milk and honestly I didn't see any huge differences but you know to me that was such a big step I, I wasn't going to go back so then after we got him completely on rice milk we started taking the gluten out and whoop, the, the oven's ready for the nuggets um, we started taking the gluten out and I was going to do it gradually but uh, something else motivated me to just do it all at once and uh, and we did and like I mentioned in my vlog that I I did the other day we saw a lot of regression but now you know I do believe he's passed all that and he's doing really good I mean you know he's we still have a long way to go but um, there isn't a doubt in my mind that the diet didn't benefit him. I really hope that I can help somebody out with this, like um, a few people have helped me out because it's really been, it's really been invaluable. So hopefully this will help and um, another thing that I wanted to mention uh, with the gluten, I know for a lot of people if you um, just go slowly with the gluten too, you know, just learn recipes little by little and slowly start adding that in and taking something else out. And so with that being said, let's get cooking. Okay, 
Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to make my uh, GFCF chicken McNuggets. And you'll need, I'm going to do three chicken breasts today, but really it's however much you want to cook. You can cook it, you know, just make one or two for then and there. Or the best thing to do actually is to cook as much as you can, when you can, and freeze. And that was a really important thing for me personally when uh, we started the diet was freezing. I mean, I cooked for like three or four straight days and I froze everything because my biggest fear was my baby's not going to have anything in the house to eat. You know, he's going to be starving and I'm not going to know what to give him because, you know, at that point I hardly knew anything. Um, but I wanted to recommend some great books. I think uh, Special Diets for Special Kids by Lisa Lewis. This is the Bible for the GFCF diet. Um, it's got some great simple recipes and uh, it tells you all about the diet. It tells you, you know, the effects that the gluten and casein has on the body and it's just, it's fabulous. I can't stress to you enough how important this book is. Um, and at the beginning, I wouldn't even go into the grocery store without this book until I found this book. And this is the shopping guide. And uh, you can get that on gfcf.com. And I think I'm, I'm going to try to put some links at the end or some uh, websites at the end for you to go to um, for information, shopping, whatever. And I had mentioned earlier about some crackers. Um, and my little boy's really picky. I had tried the rice, the little round thin rice crackers and sesame crackers, and he didn't care for any of those. These, I think these are, are rice crackers, but he really loves these. And they're by Energy, and they have them at our local health food store. You can also, I think you can also get these at gfcfdiet.com or something comparable to them. Uh, but these are really good. And here's the rice milk we use, the West Soy rice milk, and the butter I was telling you about, the Earth Balance, the nut-based butter. So that's really good too.